Today, Adobe's dropped some pretty big features into Photoshop. So I'm going to give you an overview of those new features right now. So let's start with the new Harmonize, which does all the blending for you when you composite images. Let me show you. Let's grab this photo here and we're just going to select subject. Let's drag her into the other image here. And I'll resize here. Control Command T will resize. And I'm just kind of rushing through this. I'll do individual tutorials on these different features and spend a little more time on this one. So let's just pop her in here. Now, obviously, that doesn't match. What we need to do is change the color to match the lighting and add shadow. So if we go up to the taskbar, you'll see Harmonize. And this is just in Photoshop beta right now. So we're going to choose Harmonize. And it's going to use Generator Fill and Firefly to blend this together. And look at that. It matches the scene now. And we have three variations. So we could choose the second or the third variation, depending on what you like. I think the first variation maybe is the most accurate. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. OK, so how does this work and what's the shortfalling of it? But what it does is uh, let me turn this off. And we're going to turn off the background here. See what it does is it actually generates the entire image and just masks out that area. So if I hold the shift key and turn off the mask, this is what it generates. Now, the downside of this is if we zoom in, we're going to see we've got a loss of resolution compared to the original. If I hold the shift key, we can see. But this doesn't matter on the background because it's masking it out. But if you look at the subject here, and if we look at the subject before and after, yeah, we're losing a little bit of resolution. So this is going to work well on smaller images and uh, ones that people are not scrutinizing too closely. Another disadvantage of this is the fact that it generates the entire layer, which means if you want to move this, you would have to regenerate the result. All right, let's have a, a look at another example of this here. We've got the two layers. I've already cut this out just to save time. And we want it to match the color and style of the background. So we're going to choose harmonize. And let's look at the three variations. Maybe the third variation is better. It's not enabling us to have the, the guy in the air. It's planting it on the ground. So why don't we try moving this? So maybe we've got one foot on the sidewalk here and the other one in the air. And we're going to hit harmonize. And if you look at the result once again, in all the variations, it's planting his foot on the ground. It's not allowing him to kind of float through the air. So I can see why it's in beta right now. It's not perfect. It's definitely got some potential. What I think is useful right now is to do like some concept work, some quick mockups and see how it goes and maybe using it as a reference for some of your own compositing. One of the things it does seem to do quite well is it does make pretty good shadows and it does a pretty good job of matching the color and relighting the scene. It just has, you know, just a few little teething problems, but we're going to do another video where I go more in depth into this one. All right, let's look at the next one and that's improvements in the remove tool. So I've done a tutorial on this when it was in beta, but now this is in the full version of Photoshop. Plus, it's also had an updated model, so it works even better than before. Let me show you what I mean. Say I want to remove the subject here. So we're going to choose Select Subject from the taskbar. And then you choose Generate a Fill, and then just hit Generate normally. And sometimes we get these weird artifacts in place of actually doing the removal. So let's just go back. So one of the new features is the remove button. So when we choose remove, we're telling it, hey, don't generate anything else here. Just remove it. And notice how quickly that happened. But another area where this really excels is removing things. It just works much better. So if we go here, we're going to choose the remove tool. So we can turn on create new layer here. So we don't have to create a new layer first. It will automatically do it for us. And also, because of that, we don't have to turn on sample all layers. All right, let's just increase this. And just, just see how this goes. Notice the generative AI is off there. So let's to turn the generative AI on. And by the way, the remove tool uses a different AI tool than Firefly, so it doesn't actually charge you any generative credits. 
So let's just go ahead and now we're going to use this with the AI turned on. And as you can see there, vastly improved results. And if we look at that, there we go before and after. And this new remove tool is in the main shipping version of Photoshop. It's no longer in beta, it's available in Photoshop. Let's look at another new feature. This particular one is in beta. If we go back home, if we go under here, this is where you have your cloud files, your Lightroom photos, etc. But this is also a new feature and there's a new feature called projects. So if I choose the project, I can actually go in and I can create a project here and I'll call this just test. And then what I can do now is I can invite people here. And the idea of this is it's going to be a central place where the assets are, where I don't have to send files to people and email them. We can work together from within the space. I'm just going to hit skip. And then from there I can hit add and I can create a folder or I can move files. So for example, I want to move this file from the cloud and I want to move it into this project. There it is. And I can share it with people by hitting that share button and we can work together with this central repository. I'll do a separate tutorial on this. The other new feature I want to talk about, which is in the shipping version of Photoshop, and that is the generative AI model picker. Okay, so if I make a selection and then I want to generate, I go to generate a fill and maybe I want to do a hat. If you click on F5 for Firefly, now we can choose between Image Model 3 and Image Model 1. This is using 3. Why would we want to go back to 1? Sometimes things just don't work like they used to. Let me undo this. Go into Generator Fill, type in the word hat. And now we're going to use Firefly version 1 and hit Generate. And this time, we actually get hats. So, so sometimes when you have that feeling, man, for this particular thing, this used to work better. Now you can go back to how it did work better. So I hope you enjoyed this quick first look at these new features. So I'm going to be making individual tutorials on the most important features and going much deeper into them. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those. Um, and also turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my other tutorials. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.